up ahead after the turnover had to track it down fires a tough angle shot but that won't drop they'll get the second effort Van Litt the 5-9 grad here's Williams and swishes that in and I know how fond you are of her game Michaela Williams it was a little bit sore and Kim Mulkey said knowing postseason was ahead of us wanted to make sure her starting forward was ready to go way downtown Johnson will knock that home championship looking to repeat looking to become the first back-to-back -back champ since UConn won three in a row Van Litt gets a real good look and swishes in a three-pointer You know, you can be a mom and a great professional as well. And on the scoop, it's Johnson to lay it in. I talked to another coach in the American, and they just said she is so tough. She's difficult to match up with because it doesn't matter what you do. She's going to find a way. Speaking of which, Nene Samara with another one, a junior out of Chicago. Give her six. She's starting to heat up. For the Owls. Pull up Pop Williams. Yes, so smooth, a two-pointer. Two-time Louisiana Gatorade Player of the Year who decided to stay home. And close off the window for Morrow. Where she can get on a run and just be unstoppable. And up and in and a whistle too. Count that. 4.30 to go here before halftime, and LSU has come to life offensively. Well, Anissa Morrow has come to life for the Tigers. She's been active. There, rips through and goes through the contact for the and one. Again, Rice in the 1-3-1. One, one. Pull up with an answer. Six quick points for Fisher here early in the third quarter. Here's a feathery touch by Johnson out of the corner. Give her a triple. And this is where LSU needs to get stops and get out and run in transition. Oh, what a nifty move there by Johnson. Changing direction in the blink of an eye. And they just won't quit. Williams dumping it downstairs, back out for her, a long three, yes. Michaela Williams drills it. And I mean serious snow, not, have, not like flurries. I don't think we have a cloud in the sky in 75 here in Baton Rouge. That's right, pretty good game inside too in terms of how close it's been. Van Lith will fire a two and knock that down. Angel Reese sprinted and was yelling for the ball because she knew she was ahead of her matchup. Morrow will lay it in at a great feed and 1-2. As she goes down. Johnson with a terrific pass in heavy traffic just threaded the needle. A foul will go on Fisher. That's her fourth. Rice with turnover issues 2-15 in the game. Williams lines it up and with a feathery touch, Michaela Williams knocks it home to make it a 10-point lead for the Tigers under four to go. Flaugier Johnson with a pull up at the elbow, knocks it down. 